you doing, sir? Okay. Okay. It wasn't my intent to make light of anyone's discomfort. I realize my responsibility is to not invade the space of anyone who is uncomfortable in that regard. And, uh, uh, and I, I hope it wasn't taken that way. But uh, there was, uh, you know, I literally uh, think it is incumbent upon me, I think everybody else, to make sure that if you embrace someone, if you touch someone, it's with their consent, regardless of your intentions. Even if you're trying to bring solace, if you're trying to welcome them, and uh, it's, uh, it's my responsibility to do that. What's your reaction to President Trump t uh, taunting you on Twitter? What do you have to say to him? Well, it doesn't surprise me. He doesn't have time to do his job. Um, but uh, look, it's, everybody knows who Donald Trump is. Um, so this, I don't have to say anything more, I don't think. Mr. Vice President, President there do you think you come forward and say they felt uncomfortable in your presence? Say again? You expect a lot more people Well, to come I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised, but I've had hundreds and hundreds of people contact me and who I don't know and, you know, say the exact opposite. Look, um, it, is, uh, um, it is important that um, I and everyone else is aware that any woman or man who feels uncomfortable should have the right to just say, hey, I was uncomfortable with that. Or hopefully we'll get to the point even before and they have to say, I'm uncomfortable with that, no matter what. And, uh, and, and, and I, I, I re really do understand it. Um, and uh, so, but it's, you know, one of the things that, uh, um, like for example, what made me say it, I, I wasn't joking, the President of the Union put his arms around me. Well, that's how it's always been in, you've covered me a long time, you know. Uh, that's how people react. And, uh, but, mindful, but do you think you owe these women a direct apology who have come forward so far? Oh, well, look, I, the fact of the matter is I made it clear that if I made anyone feel comfortable, I feel badly about that. That was never my intention, ever, ever, ever. But there's some women who want to hear directly, I am sorry. Are you sorry for the way that you I'm sorry I didn't understand more. I'm not sorry for any of my intentions. I'm not sorry for anything that I have ever done. I've never been disrespectful intentionally to a man or a woman. Um, I, you know, it's, that's not the reputation I had since I was in high school, for God's sake. Mr. Vice but, President, you've always said you're not changing your brand, you're not wearing any funny hats. Is this whole episode of the past week, is this going to change how you campaign? Well, I think it's going to have to change somewhat how I campaign. It's just like, you know, the new thing is selfies. Everybody wonders why I take the selfie. So they don't put it on Instagram, you know, so, so it's not put on, I mean, if I had the camera, at least I make sure it's a photo and I'm not doing something else because you have to wonder, you know, what, what anything's being used for. And so it's all changed and it's, and it's changed even with you guys, come on. You're, each of you have, have, uh, are aware of it in your personal relationship it changes. And it's not a bad thing. It's, it's a new thing, it's important. And I'm sure it's going to take a while for it to settle out. But it's settled out for me. <laughs> when will you be entering the 2020 race? I'm told by the lawyers that I've got to be careful what I say so that I don't start uh, a clock ticking uh, and change my status. But uh, it is, I am very close to making the decision to stand before you all relatively soon. Um, How I, I, I think. Within weeks? I think days, I, weeks? What's the holdup? What's the holdup? Putting everything together, man. Putting everything together. Even if I knew for certain that I was going to run for president back in Thanksgiving, my intention from the beginning is if I were to run, it would be the last person to announce. I, uh, and uh, so, if everybody else their day, then I get a shot, and then we. Off to the races. Did Putting the lack of a right, formal you. operation this thanks week everyone. make your response trickier? No. Have you Herman Cain is qualified to be the middle of I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I think Herman Cain is qualified to be on the Federal Reserve. I, I would pick someone else. 
Mr. Vice President, you. you said two Sir. weeks ago that you were the most progressive person in the Democratic Party. There's a lot of candidates in this race. No, I said liberal. I didn't say progressive. No, said progressive. I said progressive. Well, here's the point. That's changing, too. For my whole career, I wish I had been labeled in Delaware the seven times I ran as a moderate. I was never labeled as a moderate. If you look at my record with the ACLU, look at my record with all of the traditional liberal organizations, I have never walked away from. I'm not, I'm not sure when everybody else came out and said they're for gay marriage. I'm not sure when everyone else came out and talked about a lot of things I've talked about. But my point is, is the definition of progressive now seems to be changing. It is, are you a socialist? Well, that, that's a real progressive. Uh, or you believe in, you know, whatever. I mean, so I, I was talking about up until this last time around, uh, the traditional judgments of whether or not you were, quote, a liberal, uh, was whether or not what, 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 what your positions on race were, on women, what your position on, on LGBT community, what your positions on civil liberties. You know, I'll stack my record on those things against anybody Who's ever run? Who is running now, or who will run? But sir, are you suggesting that the party is moving on to the left? Thank no, you. Can look, you win in the primary? No, well, we'll find out whether I can win in the primary. All right, thanks, everyone. But you know, let me say one last thing. Here's the deal. I think you guys, if you look at all the polling data and look at the actual results, the party has not moved to the way whatever. How you? I don't want to characterize it. Whatever characterization you just made. The fact of the matter is the vast majority of the members of the Democratic Party are still basically liberal to moderate Democrats in the traditional sense. And if you look at those, I went into 65, 66, 67 races on the ground. I campaigned, I think, for virtually every one of the 41 people who won. Show me the really left, 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 left winners who beat a Republican. A republic. So the idea the Democratic Party has sort of stood on its head, I don't get. And by the way, we should welcome, the party should welcome this, what, I don't know how you want to characterize it, the, 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 the progressive left. It should be welcome. We should have a debate about these things. That's not a bad thing. But the idea, all of a sudden, the Democratic Party woke up and, and uh, you know, everybody asked, you know, what kind of Democrat? I, I'm an Obama Biden Democrat, man. And I'm proud of it.